All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Part Angle Display, which is being made by user Padishar. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a simple plugin that allows you to surface attach parts at accurate angles. And I've really been enjoying my time with this mod so far, as I love adding in all sorts of weird angles to my ship, and it can sometimes be a real pain to get all the parts to exactly the orientation I desire. But with this mod, it is an absolute breeze to see what each part's angle is so that I can then easily replicate it for other parts. And it frankly saddens me that I hadn't found this mod until recently. It's one of those that's been around for years now and somehow I just missed it. But oh well, let's jump right on into the VAB and have a look at how this mod works and how you use it. So let's build ourselves a crappy little ship here with a uh, command pod and fuel tank. And then say for instance, you were wanting to have a smaller fuel tank for your lander at an interesting angle, just cause it'd be more fun. And say you wanted it uh, about right there, but then you decided, you know what? I'd rather have a bigger fuel tank. So you decide to go and upgrade to the FLT 200. And now you gotta figure out exactly what angle this one was at and that you liked it at to put it to this one as well. Which, you know, you can just sit here and use the key commands to try and match it, and it might take you a while and a few trial and error sessions to uh, get the exact angle, or of course, more likely, you'll use the rotate tool to a bit more fine-tune rotate this thing. But overall, it's probably gonna be a bit of a pain to get it to match up exactly to what you had before. And that's what the part angle display is for. We have a lovely new button down here, PAD for part angle display. And if we click that, we get this wonderful UI, which tells you everything you need to know about the angle of your parts. And also, will help you change them. And I love it. So let's talk about the first bit up here. Now the first three options show you the angle of any selected part. So if we grab this one right here, we can see that our yaw is at 340, but our pitch and roll are at zero. Now this other one here, well, we got it pretty close just from fiddling around with it briefly. It's at 350 yaw and a pitch and roll of zero. And if we try to rotate this thing around as we're looking at the part angle display, you can see that it changes as I rotate things. It's live updating so you know exactly what the angle of this part is, which is very useful because then once you're done with it, you can then remember what those parts or those angles were, write it down or whatever you wanna do, so you can then copy it for other parts parts in the future. Or you can actually use this to force those angles. For instance, we had this tank right here at 340 on the yaw. So say we want to have another tank at 340 yaw. All we need to do is go down to these next three options here where we can actually force a specific pitch roll or yaw angle. So for this one, it was 340 on the yaw, so we type 340. And then go and grab our new tank, and then what you have to do is actually hold down control, and that actually activates this little function right here, and then you hit the appropriate key. So we're going to yaw, and there we are. It yawed to exactly 340 degrees. Now, of course, remember pitch, yaw, and roll all have a positive or a negative, so whichever way you go. So for instance, if I grab this part and I went to yaw the other way, it's gonna go to 20, but if I yaw 
this direction, it goes to 340, so you may have to just hit a key or two to fiddle around, go, oh, nope, wrong way, and then there we go, we're to 340. So just something to remember on this one. So for, uh, to get the correct yaw, you're typically gonna have to hit the A key if it's going in a positive direction. If it's going in the negative correction, you're gonna have to use the D key, and that's just something you'll have to uh, do a little bit of trial and error with for the different pitch rolls and yaws in here. But I love this so much because I cannot tell you how many times I've been building a ship and thought to myself, you know what, no, I wanna change this part out for something else entirely. And well, now I just need to set my degree number here, hold control and yaw, and there we go. We've now put this piece at a yaw of 340 degrees. <laughs> and it's wonderful. Let's just chuck that away because we don't need it anymore. And now the last bit is also very useful tool. So the next part we have here is rotation. Now, of course, whenever you use the key commands, it's going to turn them by 90 degrees, as you can see right here. And if we hold down shift and do the same movements, it's gonna fine tune to five degrees per time you hit the key, as you can see right Right here now those are the default numbers but what if you want to change those default numbers well you use these arrow keys right here so we can change it to different increments you can't change it to anything but for instance say you wanted rather than 90 you wanted it at 120 or if we go the other way 120 is the maximum you can change it to if we go the other way we can drop down to 72 or 60 or 45 or 30 or 15, 10, 5, 1, 0 0.1, and finally 0 0.1 as the smallest increment we can do with this particular mod before it rotates right back around to the 120. And we can change the same thing with the fine rotation. So say for the main rotation we wanted uh, 60 degrees and fine rotation we wanted one degree per hit. There we go, now when we're moving this around it's changing in increments of 60. And that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And if we fine tune, there we go, 61. Well, let's actually grab a new one so you can see that more clearly. So of course our pitch roll and yaw, zero, zero, zero. And if I go this way, it's now at 60 degrees. Fine tune with holding shift. And there we go. We're at 63, 64, 65, etc. And you can just do this to your heart's content all day long so you get exactly the perfect angle. And I really honestly prefer doing this with changing these numbers than using the rotate tool. Because the rotate tool is a very good thing but it's sometimes hard to fine tune exactly what you want. Whereas the key commands give you or can give you with this mod down to, you know, the absolute smallest decimal of control of your angle. And I love that. Now the final option we have here is part relative. And what that is going to do is change how your actual part rotates. So for instance, if we grab this fuel tank and we go to pitch, it's going to turn in that direction as you see there. Now if we go to part relative, it's going to rotate relative to this specific part rather than to the normal fixed axes. So, and if we now try to pitch, or at least you hit W to try and pitch, oh, look at that, it's now going a completely separate and opposite way. And it can be a bit finicky, and honestly, I actually don't really use the part relative uh, at all so far in using this mod, as I just find the normal fixed axes to be the easiest way to go. But if you do like having that extra little bit of control, that is there for you. And uh, yeah, that's the part angle display. That's really all there is to it. I love this thing. It shows you the exact angles. You can then force those specific angles and then then finally you have fine tune control over your rotation and fine rotation and the relative part rotation, which again, I never use, but hey, maybe you will. Ooh, the one thing I almost forgot, there are some key commands. So for instance, if you wanted to change these rotations rather than using the keys, you can hit G to actually cycle through the fine rotation, as you can see here, 
and B to cycle through the uh, major rotation. Again, it's a function I never really use because I just find these keys to be easier. But if you do want to go that route, you can. If you ever want to change those keys, there also is a config file that comes with the mod that you can edit to, uh, you know, change it to whatever you like. But overall, I just kind of leave it as is and use these keys here. And I love this function right here especially. It's just so wonderful to be able to force a specific angle on any and every part and of course to be able to see what angle exactly my parts are it's just it makes building a lot easier so that's uh, really all i have to show you about uh, guys on this and uh, yeah it's a very very useful tool if you'd like to download it for yourself and give it a try which i really would suggest that you do take a look at the link in the description as always and yeah i hope you have also enjoyed this episode today and that you do come back for the next but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one <laughs>